What we'll do here is walk over how to install the Wobble Boss quickly for both Mac and PC. If you're on a Mac, go to our main channel and skip to the next video. This one is going to be made just for PCs and the next one will be for Mac. Okay, so you'll scroll down to the bottom here and once you purchase, you'll, you'll come to this. This is sort of like your invoice slash download page. So what we need you to do is download the actual main app from one of these two links. Do not use the actual link. This is what you're supposed to do. But for whatever reason, when we use this download, it redirects to the same file that these do, but it sometimes corrupts it. We don't know why. So we're giving you direct downloads right to the VST or the Mac AU, figure out which one you need, and then also make sure you download all five of the WAV file collections. And the reason we give you these is if you don't want to use this, um, you want to dump these samples into your own sampler, sample tank or on a Mac, EXS or any of the samplers, even the one we give you here with the bonus VSTs for PCs. Um, you guys can do that too. So this has our software or our samples in the software proprietary. You can't rip them out and here, or I guess you can rip them out if you're fancy with your VSTIs and, and you know how to set it up exports and stuff. You can slowly rip them out one by one, but we just give you the WAV files. We want you to have them. We want you to produce with them and get the most you can out of them. All right. Once you download and unzip the file or whatever you're using, WinRAR, WinZip, TugZip, uh, you'll see these three items. The first two are what you want to grab and carry over drag over to your VST plugins folder, wherever it is on your machine. I'm going to be using Cubase. So I have AI and then VST plugins within my Steinberg folder within program files. You guys might have Ableton, you might have FL studio, um, or you might have all three of these and this, so you can still dump these in here. And then within your Ableton or FL studio, you can point the extra VST folders at this folder too, so that it'll, it'll read this. When you open up your DAW and run this for the first time, it'll ask you for a serial number. And that serial is found in this text file you must implement or input that serial number for it to run properly. Otherwise you'll get an instrument not found error. And that simply means you have not unlocked it. It needs to be implemented with the serial number. These two files have to be beside each other in the folder. Well, not literally beside each other, but they have to be in the same folder. Don't open this folder up and put the files in there beside this. It's supposed to be left in the folder. You're just supposed to drag those two right over just like that. And that's it. Okay. And then open up that, get your serial number and get ready to copy and paste it in once you run Wobble Boss for the first time. All right, I almost forgot the bonus VSTs for PCs. You guys will click here to download the zip file. And then once you do download and open it, you'll have a bunch of DLLs. Literally grab them all and also dump them into your respective VST plugins folder, the same spot you dumped in the other files. All right, I already have them in there, but it's literally just drag them in. Then when you open up Cubase, um, you'll get to explore all these. These also have their own videos. We're not going to cover every single feature in all these in this video. Uh, there's other dub turbo videos. You guys can go explore that go over every single one of these. In fact, I'll put links in the description for you guys. Okay. I'm in Cubase. Um, I have AI five. You guys probably have newer versions. I just wanted to go back, use an older version, make sure I accommodate as many people as possible. Um, and then your VST instruments to pull this up, just press F 11 or in your drop downs, go to devices and VST instruments. And from here you will pick wobble boss. If you did grab the bonus VSTs and dump them in the same folder as the other one, you'll see all those here too. So we'll choose wobble boss and in the newer versions of Cubase, it'll ask you if you want to create a MIDI channel and assign wobble boss to it. You say create. If it doesn't do that for you, once you select up here, you'll right click on the channel area. You'll add a MIDI track one or two or three. You can add as many wobble bosses up here as you need to. Um, and then here on the right hand side, you'll leave your MIDI inputs the same. Mine already pre-assigned to wobble boss because it was up here. But if it's not, if it's on one of these, you'll simply select wobble boss. Once you have it up selected up here, it'll pop up in your MIDI um, outputs over here. Okay. We'll backtrack that. You I'll assume you have a MIDI keyboard hooked up to it. You check out your keys. Make sure you got sounds coming out of it down here on the bottom one, bottom, uh, part of the screen, you'll see your actual full out kits. Okay. Just tons of them. There's uh, eight up to 10 octaves full, and it's not like they're spanned on a lot of these. Um, every single key has its own sample. Once you do get to the web shots, we do span meaning that sound goes up an octave, sometimes two. And we do that so you guys can actually create little melodies. Okay. And then 
once you get into the secret weapons, this these last really long. Some of them are up too far, uh, two bar. Some of them are up to four and eight bar lengths. <laughs> And that they're really, really loud too. I don't know why that one kit turned out much louder than the others, but. Everything's built at 140 BPM. So if you guys stick to 135 to 145 ish, um, these will fit. But if you want to stick right to it and ride the long patterns and stick to metronomes. Then you'll have to set it to 140. Okay. I believe some of these are also spanned. Let me double check here. Yeah, so some of them we grabbed and decided, okay, you know, these certain samples are, are wicked. They're, they're the best out of this whole kit. Let's span a good 20, 30, 40 of them. So out of all these, you'll have a few spanned and the rest are all literally assigned um, one key per sample. And then uh, we give you guys the WAV files, like I said in the other part of the video. When you download those WAV files and they're sitting in your computer, um, and if you did install the bonus VSTs, you'll have all the Dub Turbo stuff. Choose the Samploid. It'll also create its own MIDI track for it. And then once that's loaded up, this is a very simple to use sampler. And the way we've given you guys the WAV files, the way we've done these fo folders, you guys will have basically this. Here, don't worry about all this extra other stuff. This is what we made them out of. And those are the original raw recordings um, of the sounds. So you'll pick sound pack one through five, and then in there you'll pick pack A or B. And each one of them has approximately 100 sounds. Choose whatever one in there. doesn't matter which one you choose because it'll pop up here. And once they do, give it a moment to load because they're big samples. Once they do, choose something that's long or you yourselves can add a file into those folders that's 10 seconds of 20 seconds of silence just so it's a long file. Um, I don't know which one is the longest, but you can usually tell by the names, 2-bar, 3-bar, 4-bar, whatever they go up to. Here we have 2-bar 93, 2-bar 91. The sampler itself is pretty robust, 32 band EQ, main volume, clear your samples easily. You can loop whatever samples you're on. I don't really like to use that, but it is there. Uh, you can span your own sound. So whatever one you do pick, if not the longest one, let's say you like this talk box and you want to span that. Let me turn that down a little bit, sorry. Don't like that one, I want to choose a different one. Okay, so anyway, it spans it right across all the keys. You can reverse and span. Okay. Or turn them all off and you just have your standard, the whole kit set to all the keys. Uh, good idea is to turn the attack up a little bit and turn the release back here. Just so if there is any click or dirty beginning or dirty end, you can get rid of them very easily with the sampler. You got a little reverb going on. Chorus flange. Pretty amazing how much it affects the sounds. And then the standard filters. I'm going to turn these off so you can hear the filters nicely. Low pass, high pass, band pass, notch, peak, and then your low and high cuts. Uh, resonance, mix, and cut. So very intuitive, very easy to use. And this pitch is one thing I actually do want to experiment with because... Let me try to find something longer again. So there's a good example of what I was talking about. It's currently at 0.37 seconds. And these samples will only play for that long now. Whereas if I choose a long sound. So if you get that error and you're like, why is my sample cutting off? That's why. Make sure you try to choose the longest sample or dump one of your own in here. That's like 20 seconds. You can always select that and know that you can play all the samples for as long as they last for. 
Okay, there's a nice one. So watch, watch the pitch. All right, very, very deep. I think it's like four, if not six, or maybe eight octaves that it that it goes down and up. And another great thing about this is this is all readable and writable. Over here, you're pretty obvious your main volume, low amp, high amp, and glide. Uh, don't even really need to mess with those. All you really need to mess with is your main volume, and then here your attack, your release. If you want to shave a little bit of the sample, or if you want to have a little bit of a sweep coming in or sweep going out, then you can use those. Okay, so there you have it. The Wobble Boss, the Dub Turbo Bonus VSTs, the five folders filled with samples so you guys can dump them into your own sampler, samplers and gear. So enjoy it. Make your dubstep. Look forward to hearing some feedback from you guys. And uh, make, keep making music. Peace out. <laughs>